What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and beasts of all legislation sizes? Well, based off that good old fashioned poll I put up on that layer channel, it seems a uh, Hydraneer beat the fuck out of everything and made it like it. I set off so many nukes it ended reality in Hydraneer. That's a hell of a way to start off. Now, it, it looks like it's in the opposite order again, right? But I actually do a little, little sneak peek, right, of the first episode, and it said again. So that tells me that the last episode, the first episode was the last, and the last episode was the first, like the last. Let me know in the comments so I don't make the same mistake I did with the other series. Y'all liking the hand movements? Do me some Naruto style? Some fire style! Fireball juice! Anyway, anyway. Set up so many nukes at end of reality in Hydraneer? Now that's one hell of a way to start a video. Yeah, I know, man. Let's game it out. Link in the description. You know you gotta do it to him real quick. You got to. You have to. You have no choice. We are Venom. Anyway, let's get him, got him. Red Dottium. <laughs> Buttons. <laughs> Mark Dart. Sorry. Josh, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing some Hydraneer today, a game where you can create big machines, create even bigger messes, build money bins full of riches, blow up houses with dynamite, and do just a little bit of fishing. The game recently added something new that I think we're going to have a lot of fun nukes. with. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Techland and their upcoming game, Dying Light 2, where our journey begins over uh, here with a big, near. beautiful truck. This is what's going to take us all the way to our first area. Buckle up, everybody. It's going to be a long journey. Oh, yeah. And we're here. Welcome to Ember <laughs> Cradle, where you've got some dirt, you got Ooh. some tools, and a whole lot of water. Now, all these things separately is a whole lot of nothing. But if you take this here shovel, take some of one, put it in the other, and then use this thing to get some of this, and my then you combine God. all this stuff, and it's... then brush it down. Oh, Whoa. my God. Congratulations. It's a beautiful baby gold nugget. Oh, and oh. there's more where that came from, too. I'm because rich. don't worry, we don't want you to be an only child. And before you know it, we're just oh, over. Yes. Pride and joy. So what rich. are we gonna do now? Oh, just the thing that any proud parent would do. Sell your children at the jeweler, of course. <laughs> How much for all my infants? I mean, nuggets. Ah, <laughs> 91 whole coins. What a fair price. And Beautiful. now we've got some newfound coin. We're gonna go spend it at Tools and Equipment. Think of this as like Medieval Home Depot, except medieval crappier home and depot. with even fewer employees. But the oh. important part is they have all the things we need, like mining helmets, oh. safety first, wood foundations to make everything nice and orderly, Delicious. and light posts so we can see at night. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're here for only one thing, the fishing pole. Yes. So one great easy way to make starter cash in this game is to do a little fishing. You Ooh, just cast yeah, your line and voila, something dies for capitalism. So let's see how much <laughs> we can sell this for at the jewelers. Cause that makes sense. Ah, of course. six coins. Six. I'm rich. Now I know that wasn't very much and it <laughs> yes. seems like doing something like digging Beautiful. was easy and more profitable. And that's not not true, but allow us to take a joy ride and I'll show you what the plan Ooh. is. Yeet! <laughs> Welcome to Bridgeport, the historic mining town with a little something for everyone. Were you looking to buy a fancy new ride? Well, they've got that. Were you looking for fancy furniture? Well, they've got that too. And were you looking to up your conveyor belt game? Oh, uh, no conveyor, conveyor belt. Nation. But right now, we're not interested in any of those places. Nani? We're interested in this one right here. No. Power and logic. Behold, Hobson's Power Works, your one-stop shop for all kinds of stuff we probably don't care about. And while all of these <laughs> wires and things seem pretty cool, Cool. We're actually oh, yeah, baby. Thing. Actually, I take that back. We're here oh. for two things. That's right. They added a mini nuke to the game and only for a whopping 26,000 coins. Good that's God. a lot of fish. But that's where these come in at their much more affordable price of 360. We're no going to be using them to make a little more cash. You see, in my last playthrough, we learned something. Oh, With fishing, we shit. can make some money. And the place where the dynamite fits into this is there's an infinite money glitch. But first, we need to be able to buy the dynamite. So give me a second first to make a little money. Okay, this should do it. Yep. That's Good I like to see. God. You hear that sound? That's the sound of, of money? money being made. I knew it. So how much it. money do we get? Ah, 7.30. A lovely sum. All right. Let's go get us some supplies. So as mentioned, rich, to do bitch. this money glitch, we need to have mm. some dynamite. Now, we're only going to need one for now. We're also going to need something to set off the dynamite like this logic button. A logic only button. Only 444. A paltry sum against our 7.30. And Nailed don't forget, it. you want to be really careful oh. when you're driving with dynamite. Oh, it is a fragile man. substance after all. <laughs> okay, let's go get our dynamite set up. First, the big thingy. 
which we're just gonna firmly smash into the ground. And then for the logic unit, we're just gonna place it right up against it. Yes, it's perfect. And what could possibly go wrong? Us to set it off from a safe distance, <laughs> also known as in front of our face. But before we blow that up, we need some new fish friends, some very specific kinds. Why, there's one right now. Don't ask me why it works this way, but we're looking for specifically oh, red and blue fish. And I want to get about 10 of those, which is going to become clear momentarily. There we go. 10 miscellaneous red and blue fish. Yummy. Now, just as a reminder, if we were to sell these fish normally, we would get 70 coins for them. Or we could do Nothing. something far more exciting, which is sacrifice them to an explosion. I... Yeah, that's the spirit. So now Yay? we've got our fish here. It's time to blow them up. Now, I must warn you, this is probably going to be unpleasant because you're not supposed to light dynamite in your face. So you might want to cover your ears and possibly your eyes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, you mean okay. a beautiful oh. crater. And what might these cubes be? Well, this big one we can move out of the way because this is what's left behind from our detonator piece. But these other 10 little cubes here, these are what's left of the fish. Random scrap the metal hell? can be smelted into a scrap bar. Or we could sell them straight up to the jeweler, which is Ooh. what we're going to do right now. Let's go, little cubes. Come to with victory! me if you want to live. Uh -oh. Okay, so here's the thing. If you look at the total, it says they sell for no coins. Nothing. But that would be a lie. Those 10 little fish fish cubes actually sell for one cent a piece. Mm. So we just sold them for 10 cents. Here's the Kay. kicker. They're still here. So I can Money? just keep selling them over and over and over oh, again. Oh, you then brilliant man. Of them, oh my days. One whole solid coin. All we need to do is hit this thing <laughs> over and over and over again until we have enough for... 250,000 clicks later. <laughs> okay. 26,000 and a little oh bit extra. My now, God. anytime we need money, we can just do this painful process again. I'm Let's in. go get us a nuke, shall we? You know what? Let's take this thing with us, too. I wanted my to test agrees. something when we get there, and it's going to require this card. So we have the money to buy the nuke, but it just wouldn't feel <laughs> right to buy it without it. trying to steal first. So I have I'm the sorry? curiosity <laughs> if we can use this card to steal one. Just so you know, here's what happens when you try to walk off with it. If you didn't pay for it, it just disappears. Just now, on previous away. playthroughs, I figured out various shoplifting methods, one of which was drop it off right at the edge, step Go on the outside other side and of get the it. boundary, and then pick it up. But that doesn't work. Ah, anymore. they got you. you. do that. And another method you can use is if you pick up one of these pallets. Pallets are great Put it on the pallet. You multiple things. And pretty much, once something is part of the pallet, it's really part of the pallet. Ah. But seeing as how I still didn't pay for the pallet, I can't go to the other side and pick it up. So Damn I was it. curious if I could take this thing and just put it on the cart that I do own. You never know what's going to work. You got to try mm. stuff, right? Okay, so pull the cart behind me. Walk this thing to the edge. Uh. I sit down. Uh, uh, where the hell did it go? Where'd my cart go? Where's the cart? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Are you, are you <laughs> seeing this? I think I can safely say that the cart has somehow made it through the boundary. Well, this isn't what I was expecting. I guess that's technically shoplifting. Although, I don't think I'll be Stop using these items anytime soon. There. So the downside is I lost my cart. Well, Cash, looks like you're going to be used for something else. Oh, it's time God. to head to the place where we can buy more carts. Uh, 740 coins. Agile cart. Fast cart. I don't need all this. Oh, here we go. Crap janky wooden cart. Beautiful. Only 350. Bruh. Now we're talking. Come on, cart. We got some experimenting to do. This so wait, if I flying. just pick up one of these, put it on the ground, take a nuke, put it on the pallet, take the pallet, put it put on, on the on cart, drag the cart behind me, and then let it, it go. It detonates. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna need more cards for this. No, okay, no, so please. I've got three Don't cards have here. Cards we're gonna take guy. three of these pallets, and just for the sake of the experiment, we're gonna put a different oh, item shit. on each. So we've got a $15 oh, cork, an god. $84 logic cable, and this $670 intake pipe. I like this one because it's tall. So let's see if overall <laughs> like size matters and what goes on the card. Okay, starting with the one with the cork. Oh, let's see please, what happens. No. <laughs> well, it looks like that launched. Test number two. <laughs> looks like that one's also gone. Yay! Now for number three. Let's give it a shot. Well, this definitely appears to be working. There's cars <laughs> flying all over the place now. Hey, uh, hey, mini nuke, would you mind waiting a quick second? I think we need to experiment with something else real quick. First things first, we need to buy a plot oh, of land shit. and try to ignore all the crap flying at us in the sky. Ah, for sale. The very beautiful oh, South Hope. This will do God. nicely. For only 6,600, I'll take it. Oh, now that we own a shit, sizable dude. plot of land, and it's time for stage two. A little something I like to call shopping. Let's see. Let's see. What do I want? Maybe these concrete oh, floors. Wow. Gonna need a lot of these pallets. And we're gonna buy a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> um, carry on, I guess. And Is we're going to buy a bunch bro? of miscellaneous things. So hang on a quick second. I'm oh, going to set up our new playing dude. field. 
I wasn't always like that. This guy in position and okay. Feeling pretty good about that placement as well as that one. And all of oh those. Oh my those. god. I'm near here, but I do oh know it's no. a lot. Now the only thing left to do is load up all these pallets oh with no. all this miscellaneous crap over Please here. And there you have it. Row after row oh after god. row. You know what this actually kind of looks like? Oh is no. that one game I played. Winkle oh. to J. Little Shop. That one. Kind of has that same vibe of putting crap on tables, right? Oh, how much things change yet stay the same. Let's start with just oh, one row and don't. see how this goes. Oh, Here please, goes nothing. No. One. Lift off Yeet. successful. Two. Yeet. Three. Oh, that one's having a little bit of trouble. Hey, don't let your big brothers intimidate you with their Mach 5 speeds. If you feel comfortable in that tree, just go ahead and stay in that tree. Why? And another. And another. Yeet. Come on, bookcase. You can do it, buddy. This. Get off there. Listen, I believe in you. You just need to believe in there yourself. There you go, pal. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. First beautiful. flight. You got this. See, what did I tell you? It's not so bad, right? I bet you didn't think you'd be watching a cart make out with a tree today, did you? <laughs> dum de dum business as usual. Oh, well, that's one row down. The skies are certainly a little bit more oh, busy than they God. were by what no means done, full. Josh? So I guess we have no choice but to proceed with row two. Oh, I don't fuck. know if it's particularly clear, by the way. But the more we launch these things, the, the more heinous the, the oh, frame rate is oh, getting. Oh, yeah. We like that, don't we? Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. That car <laughs> took another car with it. Well, I'm sure they're very happy together. Okay, that's a second oh, row launch. God. Things are just looking super out there, aren't they? You know, it does look like it's getting late, though. Let's take a quick power nap. Ah, nothing quite like sleeping under the stars and watching possessed cars fly over your head. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. We got some carts to launch. Oh, oh this one got misaligned. I just gotta put it back on and... <laughs> you know, never mind, I guess that one's, um, we'll just let that one go. No, I couldn't help but notice a lot of weird stuff is happening. Another car just got abducted. Did you see that? Well, that's cool. I guess you're just doing the work for me. Like, really, let's just take a load off. We'll just kick back and let the cars pick themselves up for a while. I haven't even launched everything yet, but I think we have a pretty good idea of how this is going. And I like to call it Ode to Two Frames Per Second. No matter where you look, there's a car flying in the air. And if ever you get lost, you need only look to this rotating star made of trash, and it'll always guide your way. The frame uh, rates aren't just terrible oh there, my. by the way. This is absolutely oh. a worldwide phenomenon. Oh. No matter where you go, it's rain and cards. It's Hallelujah. rain and cards. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now is as good a time as any, I bet. Maybe yes. we can clear up some of this air traffic. With oh, hit him with a nuke, baby. Yeah, this seems like a smart idea, right? Okay, fingers crossed. Uh. We're going to set this and run. Oh. Or are we? Yep. What? My Dave computer God. didn't like that. You don't say. <laughs> Well, the good news is the frame rate's back. Oh. I'm not sure at what cost, oh. though. Since I had to restart the game, oh. everything that was flying around is now just oh. frozen in space. I guess we turned these once busy <laughs> skies into a sky crypt. You know where I think oh we went wrong? God, we should have built, it. like, a little boundary. That way they can't just fly all over the place like this. So let's set some boundaries this time. Oh. Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, this you time set around, up a cage. we're going to put only carts with bombs on it. Because that seems like a safe <laughs> idea. You know, something like this. Like the world's oh, most uncomfortable hands-on museum. And set the these things off in an environment that they can't escape. Let's start or by launching they? just one and seeing what happens. Oh, they're confined oh, right, oh, and apparently oh, really oh, anxious oh, to get oh, out. Oh, oh, looks like it managed me. to escape. Be free, little card. Free. Okay, so let's try that again. This time there's 16 and we're gonna oh. launch them all at once. Oh, no. seem pretty oh, contained this time. What do you think? Should we add some more? God, I see why no. not. Oh, that yep, crashed the game. I guess it didn't like all those hard collisions. Okay, so we're gonna do that one again, but this time we're gonna oh add a little God, something. Bro. Once we set all these things loose, there's detonate. still gonna be this guy, which is connected by a wire Nani? that leads all the way out here to this detonator. And fingers crossed, something cool will happen. As expected, everything is confined oh, and trying oh, to escape, yeah. and the mini nuke is still in the middle. Quickly, before the game crashes. Detonation! Huh, those oh, okay, flying nukes what? are, um, really durable, aren't they? Okay, well, now I'm curious. If nukes won't explode when they're attached to pallets, can you create a chain reaction at all? Only one way to find a out. A chain okay, reaction? Now oh, we have a nice long why? row of nukes. The only one connected is at the very end here, which, just like the last time, goes to a detonator that we control. So let's see if we can do a nuke chain reaction, shall we? Presented by Michael Bay. Ooh. Wow, oh. would you look at that. It's, it's almost a tidal like a nuclear wave. wave. Hey! Now that it's made a nice, sizable pit. Yo. I think I know the next thing we need to test, which is what happens when oh, we have a full fuck. of literally thousands of nukes. Oh, no. so let's find out. No! Well, I heard one explosion and then the whole game froze. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 there's God. a couple more. Well, so far, oh, so yeah. good. The game is completely frozen. <laughs> We're just going to wait this out and see what happens. 12 hours later. 
Mm, oh, yes, yeah. this is the sound here, right? Oh, here we oh, go, finally. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's me, just preparing for nuclear winter, I see. Oh! Uh, a second volley. Boy. I didn't realize that's how nukes worked. <laughs> A third! Oh, and Damn. another. Wow, science is crazy. So I guess this is our reality now. Stuck in a perpetual loop of half-finishing explosions. So we're gonna cap it here so we can sit back in this mushroom cloud and contemplate some existential dread. I want to thank Techland again for sponsoring this video. Dying Light 2 comes out on December 7th, and you can pre-order the game right now using my link below. And to catch up on all the fun, you can pick up Dying Light 1 Platinum Edition right now for 75% off. Use my link in the description below. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. Well, that's gonna do it for their Hydro Near, the first episode. Hopefully I didn't go out of order again. Not that I actually did that, but I totally did. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Shh. That's gonna do it for this one, Hydro Near, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. So, the fact that there's tears running from my eye holes can only mean one thing. This is be funny as ES. I fucks with it. You guys already know what to do. Link in the description to the main man Let's Game It Out. But if you like this video right here with your own face holes, take the base more claws of awesomeness juice, slash the like button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and beasts of all ages, exercises, the peace, move on. Say beast mode for the epic one of all the winds. Hydroneer! Explosions! Sponsored by Michael Bay!